Hello, my friends. Welcome to another episode of Stephanie's Stamp Pad where we get together and make a card. Today's card is kind of a mystery card because I don't have the sample to share it with you, which is kind of funny, but don't worry, I know what we're doing. Kind of, okay. So this is the die that we're gonna be using, happy birthday. And we're also gonna be using some candy card stock and some Sizzix adhesive. Oh look, I have two, how funny. I don't know how come I have two on my desk. Anyway, we're gonna have lots of fun. That's all that matters, right? Okay, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to die cut our base. I always say this over and over. We always die cut our base first because that kind of gives us our foundation of our card, right? So we're going to, there's three dies in this set. We're gonna take the two largest and we're gonna lay this down and we're gonna lay this one down. Now we need to make sure that we line this up. So we're gonna lay this down and we're going to notice that we line up right here, see that? See how it lines up perfectly right here on that inside? That way we're gonna get the perfect card. So we're going to run this through the machine and it's gonna cut and score it for us at the same time, which is fantastic. Now what we're also gonna do is we're going to die cut happy birthday out of this white. But before we do that, we're of course gonna add some Sizzix adhesive to the back because that way we don't have to add adhesive later. There we go. So we're going to add this and we have two little chads here. We're just gonna pull that apart, pull that apart and we're good to go. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold that on the deep score line just like that. And now we're ready to decorate. So what we're gonna do is we're going to add our Sizzix adhesive to the back of our white. And we're just gonna add that right there. Fantastic, we have a little extra. So we'll trim that off and we'll save that for another time. And just to make sure we don't accidentally die cut in the wrong spot, we're gonna trim off the extra that does not have adhesive. Just like that. So now we know this whole piece is a sticker. Do the finger test, make sure our cutting pad is good, it's still good. We're gonna lay that down and we're gonna run that through. Just like that. Run that through. Now I've already cut this rectangle to go in my card. I love that crunchy sound. That means it's working. <laughs> so now we have our happy birthday. Now we're gonna save this because you never know when you're gonna need white cardstock with adhesive on the back. And we're gonna just pop out some of these pieces and we can get our roller brush to get this out. Maybe, sometimes we need a paper piercer. There it goes. So now we have our happy birthday. And again, it does have the Sizzix adhesive on the back, so that makes life a lot easier. We're just gonna peel that off. Whoops, let's peel that off, there we go. I lost my fingernails at the last convention when we were breaking down, so. Okay, now I have my beautiful happy birthday. So we're gonna go ahead and add that to the front. Look at that, awesome. And it layers perfectly on the front there. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna add this piece to the inside. So let's get some adhesive and add. There we go. And we're just gonna add that right to the inside. See how it layers perfectly? And then I'm gonna do something a little fun. I've already added some cardstock to this Sizzix adhesive sheet. And see how it has all those little pieces? I am going to trim them off and I'm going to die cut individual letters from my happy birthday. So there's one, oh, let's see, and you don't want this sticky to get on your cutting pad, so you gotta really trim it off good. So there's one, and that's nice and clean. And then, let's trim this one. You could also use your scissors if you wanted to. I'm too lazy to go find them, so I'm just using this. There's another. And, well, let's trim one more, well, uh, okay. So we'll trim there. This is also a great way to use up your scrap cardstock. Or I could have even just used some that already had the Sizzix adhesive because I have a lot in my scrap box. Okay, so there, oh, that one's sticking to me. Okay, so now I have all these colors and let's see if I can line up on my sample ones. So this is gonna be, oh, let's clean our die. Dirty dies give you dirty cuts. We don't want any dirty cuts. Okay, whoops, there's always this one little spot here that just sticks. There we go. Get out of there. Okay, so we want to have a, let's see, I'm wanting to see my samples. So two A's, so I'm gonna do both A's. So I'm gonna lay this down. So I'm gonna do an A there. 
and an A here. Peel this up. This is going to, I know it sounds crazy, but it's going to look awesome. Then we want to do a green eye. So let's move this over. So we're going to do a green eye. And we are going to do a, what? What? That's a blue P. Okay, so we're doing a blue P, not a yellow. Yellow is over here. Let's do this. Yellow there. And then last but not least, a blue P right there. And I think we are almost good to go. Ready? Let's see if this works. <gasps> I have backups just in case. Now you don't have to make yours the same color as mine. I was just trying to copy my sample that doesn't exist. So crunch, 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 crunch. Lots of crunching on that one. I'm even gonna go back because I had some of those layered and there's so many extra layers in there. I just wanna make sure it's really cut. Okay. So let's see what we have here. So we, Pat, can I buy an A? Let's see. There we go, here's our A. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our little scissors and we're just gonna trim our A. So only the A is gonna be here. Trim there. Look how cute this is. And we're gonna trim right there. So now I have an A. We're gonna peel it up. Now remember it has that adhesive on the back so we don't have to worry about trying to get adhesive on these little tiny pieces. So there's our A. A is for apple. And then we're gonna do our P in blue. And we're gonna trim this just a little bit right there. And we're gonna trim that Y off right there. And this is a nice straight cut, so that's easy. Doop, boop. Okay, so now we have our P. And we're gonna, whoops, we're gonna add that right here. Look at this, this is so cute. And then what do we have? Now we have our eye, so let's poke that out. So let's clean up our eye. So see what it looks like, and then we're just gonna clean it up. Let's trim there, and let's trim a little bit of that off because that's not, that's some of that is the um, R. So when in, when in doubt, just do straight cuts because that's easier. <laughs> Okay, so trim that, trim that, trim that. There we go. And a couple more trims. Now usually I say scissors are a bad word at Sizzix, but we're decorating a card, so it's allowed. Because usually I say there's a die for that, but because this is special, it's worth it. So now we'll get this eye out, and we're gonna add this guy right here. Look how cute this is. Now you really could do every letter a different color. That would be very ambitious. And last but not least, we're gonna do the A. And trim that right there. Trim that right there. Trim that right there. Do the straight cuts first, it seems to help. It's faster. Trim that right there. And now we have our other A. A. Okay, and now we have happy birthday. Look how cute that is. And let's clean our little area here. Luckily I have a trash can below me, don't worry. I'm not throwing it all on the floor, just some of it. <laughs> and then let's add some twine. And I have a cute little corkscrew ribbon, so we're gonna add that also. So we're gonna do that right along this way. Instead of doing it up here at the top where I normally would do it, let's do it in the center, just to add some more fun. And let's do this, and let's grab this little guy. I'm gonna tie him in there. I love this twine, so pretty. Okay, ready? And we're gonna tie it right there. Ooh. And then let's tie it again in a knot, and then trim that down. Look at how cute this is. Trim that down, and then let's snip. Snip, and look at how cute our happy birthday card. Easy, right? Am I right? This card die makes it so easy. Happy birthday. We're gonna open that up. We can write our little message. We could even add something else in here if we wanted to. So cute. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Stephanie's Stamp Pad where we get together and we make a card. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.